Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to use FlexCards and OmniScripts, the two main digital experience components in OmniStudio. Salesforce OmniStudio is a suite of task-based components that allows you to create digital-first, industry-specific experiences across devices and channels. Today, we'll focus on the digital experience, which is what your customer sees and interacts with. We won't cover them in detail today, but OmniStudio also includes data service management components that read, write, and transform data in and outside of Salesforce. It also includes application lifecycle layer tools for developers to manage and move OmniStudio component changes between environments. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how to use FlexCards and OmniScripts and how they work together to create a great guided experience for your customers. FlexCards allow you to see contextual customer data at a glance. Flex cards are essentially containers to display data and provide access to relevant related tasks. Let's go through a few of the key attributes of flex cards and then we'll hop into a demo. Let's start with the flex card designer. This drag and drop tool helps you create versatile, interactive, and visually appealing lightning web components without code. Use built-in graphic user interfaces in the designer to control the look and feel of your flex cards and style individual elements. Flex card data. A flex card displays data from a Salesforce object or an external database. The data source type determines how the flex card retrieves the data. Flex card elements. Elements are a versatile way to display data in the form of fields, charts, tables, or images. You can also add menus or actions elements to call a data source, add or update data, perform navigation, or even display additional information from a child flex card. Style panel. Use the style panel to style elements and text. Add responsive sizing, change margins, paddings, and margins to give your flex cards a clean, organized look. As you can see, flex cards are highly customizable. And once you've activated them, you can publish them to a lighting or experience page. Let's build a flex card to create a profile that highlights important details for a person account. We'll start in the OmniStudio app that was created for this org to manage OmniStudio features and development. On the OmniStudio FlexCard object, we can see a list view of all the existing FlexCards. In the top right corner, we'll select New to get started. Use the appropriate naming conventions for your org, then select Next. OmniStudio will prompt us to select a data source type for the FlexCard, which can come from a variety of places. For now, we'll select Save and add a data source later. In the right-hand panel, there are many different types of elements available. For today, let's pull the most important fields into this FlexCard. There are no fields available at the moment because there is no targeted data source. We will have to tell the flex card what data we would like it to display in the setup section of the panel. We'll reference the extract client data data mapper to grab data from our person account. Data mappers are mapping tools that enable you to read, transform, and write Salesforce data. This extract data mapper is configured to grab data from the account object if the record ID is equal to the value in this element named account ID. We will map that later. The Output tab is where you can configure what fields we need data from. Here, it is grabbing the person account's first name, last name, email, phone number, birth date, and important notes. We can test this data mapper in the Preview tab before referencing it in the Flex card. Now we'll enter the key ID we used in the initial extract in the value of a record to test some sample data. Back in the Flex card setup, We'll enter the name of the data mapper used and map the key to a real value. We can use record ID in these brackets. If the card is sitting on the same page, it is pulling from. Finally, we'll want to enter test parameters to preview the data. Let's test a person account ID. Click Save and Fetch. Now that we have a data source, there are fields available to us in the right-hand panel that we can drag onto the screen. We can also reformat these fields by expanding and condensing the area around the fields themselves. Once we've completed the flex card, we'll need to activate it and place it on a person account record page with the Lightning App Builder. Here's an example of our completed client profile flex card. Now, let's take a look at OmniScripts. An OmniScript gives customers a guided path for completing a business process. You can configure interactive business processes that are easy to use, yet have complex functionality occurring in the background. Let's highlight some key features of OmniScripts. Then we'll take a look at a quick demo. OmniScript Designer. OmniScript Designer is a declarative scripting tool. It's a low to no code way to structure of your OmniScript process using drag and drop functionality. Multi-source integration. 
You can integrate data from multiple Salesforce or third-party sources, manipulate the data, and send it back to its source, all from within the OmniScript. The data is captured in the standard JSON format. Style and appearance. Design the look and feel of your OmniScripts. Use custom lightning style sheets to control mode or branding, or use Newport design system to harness the CSS framework. Dynamic templates. Create and operate dynamic templates. Merge data from any source into dynamic templates and send or attach them wherever you need to. OmniScripts also have built-in branching capability, which means they show different pages and groups of fields based on choices the user makes. Let's navigate to the OmniStudio app and create an OmniScript that facilitates the client onboarding process. Starting on the OmniScript object, here's a list view of all of the existing OmniScripts. To get started, we'll select the New button in the top right corner. Use relevant naming conventions for the type and subtype. We'll select the correct language. The OmniScript Designer enables you to preview dynamic web forms as you build them using a drag and drop interface. Use the panel on the right-hand side to search for the correct input data type. Then drag and drop these elements onto the screen. I'm going to add name, email, and phone number as inputs for the user to fill out. For each of the inputs, we'll add an API name as well as a field label. We can also include formatting and other properties. Now that we have name and phone number, we'll add email. Perfect. Now we have all of our inputs. Let's separate our steps into different screens. And we can do this by adding the step element to create another screen. On this screen, we'd like to allow our users to upload any relevant files. Let's select the file input elements. This will enable users to input those files. Finally, let's add a page to thank the user for completing the onboarding form. We'll do this by adding another step. Now we'll add a text block to input some text. Perfect. Now that we have our UI created, we need to use a data mapper post action to create the record in Salesforce. Let's head to our action elements. Drag and drop the data mapper post action between step two and step three. Dragging the data mapper between these steps will allow us to configure it further. Let's search for pre-configured data mapper. Now let's link to this data mapper. As we can see, this data mapper is creating an account record. The JSON inputs are copied from the JSON in our OmniScript and allow us to map the input values to the fields on the account object. Now that we have the UI and the post action, let's test out the OmniScript in preview. We'll navigate back to our OmniScript designer and select preview. We'll input the values into the elements provided. We could upload any files if necessary. And then we can see our final screen. Let's check the action debugger to see if the data mapper fired. We'll open up our data mapper post action and open the response. And we can see that the account ID was populated. Lastly, we can do a quick search and find the person account that was created. Perfect. Sally was created and we have successfully completed our OmniScript. Now you know how to use flex cards and OmniScripts to create customer interactions with OmniStudio. To learn how to implement OmniStudio for your company, we recommend build guided experiences with OmniStudio, an expert-led class from Trailhead. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.